This flight pen is designed to be a place where we can bring birds before we release them. We put them in this flight pen for a couple of weeks to a couple of months. They get used to being out in this location. They get familiar with the landmarks that they can see on the horizon. They get comfortable with the time of day that the sun sets and that the sun rises. They get comfortable with the temperature. They know when the wind is coming up with a bird with a nine and a half foot wingspan, they're very aware of the wind and they need wind for the most part to fly. When there's a nice steady wind, they can fly literally hundreds of miles without flapping their wings sometimes. So they're very keyed in on the wind and in having this soft release by having them in out in the wild essentially, in this flight pen for a while, they learn about the environment that we hope that they will stay in for a while and then they're released out into the wild and they think of this as home. So they can come back here for a while, we will feed them, we offer them food, sometimes they eat it, sometimes they start to find food out in the wild on their own relatively rapidly. So this is just a place where we can slowly release the birds or do what we call a soft release out into the wild and they become much more habituated with this area. I can't wait to go see these guys in the wild. I don't think anybody can really appreciate the size of a condor unless you are close to it. This is one of the world's largest flying birds. I mean, he's just ginormous, this bird. You'll notice how white this condor's legs are, and that's a phenomenon in the natural world called urohydrosis, which is a process where birds will urinate onto their legs as a cooling mechanism.